Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at arc length using radians, so we can answer questions from exercise 5c. So, finding the arc length uh, is easier when you use radians. Let me show you how radians are quite cool in this way. If we have a circle of radius r, and we have a sector with a degree in radians mode, then it's a very quick formula to get the length of the arc that goes round from one point to the other. The formula is um, arc, length of arc divided by circumference. Um, so it's going to be da 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 r theta. Okay, so the length of this line here is just equal to r, the radius, times theta, when theta is in radians mode. Okay, so it's really important that this formula, this cheeky little formula here, can only be used as a shortcut when theta is in radians mode. Okay. So, let's have a look at this question here. Then find the length of an arc with radius 5.2 centimetres, the arc subtends the angle of 0 0.8 radians at the centre of the circle. So in this case here, it's just as simple as applying the formula r times theta, 5.2 times 0 0.8, which is equal to 4.16. So the arc length is 4.16. <clears throat> Different question here. Arc AB of a circle of centre O and radius r subtends angle of theta the perimeter of the sector AOB is P, finds an expression in, so express R in terms of P and theta. Let's draw ourselves a diagram to visualize this. So we've got a circle radius R, the <coughs> angle is theta, and the length from A to B going round the arc is P. So P is equal to R theta. Um, but it's the whole perimeter, so it's not just um, not just this r theta here. We need two more r's as well to be added on. So now let's rearrange this and express r in terms of p and theta. So factorize out r, divide by theta plus two, and p is p over theta plus two is equal to r. Okay, then next question. So the border of a garden pond consists of a straight edge a b of length two point four meters and a curved part c. As shown in the diagram, the curved part is an arc of a circle center O radius 2 meters. Find the length of C. So this is a diagram here of the situation. We've got a circle 2 meters, A to B 2.4 meters. Work out the curved part C. So in this case here, it would be quite handy to know the theta angle that's around um, this side here. So that we can times it by the um, radius to get the length. We don't have this theta angle yet. What we'll have to do is we'll have to work out its composite angle down the bottom, uh, AOB, and then we'll minus that from 2 pi radians, because 2 pi, remember, is 360 degrees. <clears throat> so we can do this in a couple of different ways. We can use the cosine rule, um, or we can just drop a perpendicular, make two right angled triangles, and find the angle up there and double it. So I think that's what we'll do then. We'll make a right angled triangle using 1.2 on the base, half of the 2.4, and 2 metres on the hypotenuse. So we'll use a bit of right angled trigonometry. We've got O and H. So this is sine. So sine x equals opposite over hypotenuse. 1.2 divided by 2 is 0 0.6. So to inverse sine of that, uh, and we get 0 0.6435. Double the angle because we've got the whole part down the bottom here, so that's going to be 1.287. The next thing for us to do is to now get this theta angle. So we're going to do 2 pi minus this answer here, because 2 pi is uh, 360 degrees, so it's effectively 360 minus our angle. And we get 4.996 radians. Now the next thing to do would just be to work out the curve C, and we've got a formula to do that. L equals R theta, so take our theta value, times it by 2, and that will give us the curve length C. 
So double 4.996, we get 9.99 meters. Perfect. This is a classic question in which it's important not to round too early. Please make sure you're using the answer button from your calculator in all the different stages of this calculation. Otherwise, you may accidentally get 10.0. Right then, your turn to have a go at this question here then. Pause the video and try this one out. All right, then let's have a go at this question here then. So we've got a minor arc AB, so we'll draw a diagram here from A to B. Uh, radius 10 centimeters, subtends an angle X, so we've got X here. Uh, the major arc AB subtends the angle of 5X um, at O. Uh, in terms of pi, find the length of the minor arc AB. So the major arc subtends an angle of 5x. All right, okay, so this angle here is 5x. Uh, so in this case here, we're gonna have 6x equals two pi radians. So in this case here, x is going to be pi by three. And then find the um, length of the minor arc A to B here. So L is equal to R theta. So in this case here, the length is going to be 10 pi by 3. And there we are, that's the answer to that question there. That was easy, quick. Uh, so make sure you have a go at plenty of the other questions from exercise 5c. There will be harder questions than this. Uh, don't You don't have to worry about that. So make sure you move yourself onto the problem solving questions and the exam style questions, the P and the E questions. Um, and yeah, hopefully this won't go too badly and you can move on to the next part pretty quickly. Thanks for watching.